Hello my friends, welcome to another adventure with Hannah. Today, we're going e-bike camping. If you haven't seen the weather, there's an, apparently a heat wave going on. So it's about 92 degrees and I am burning up. I had to get out of that camper. I'm in the woods, I'm right next to a lake that has a bunch of little secret coves. So I'm going to take the e-bike down, find a place to set up my hammock and camp overnight. And then I'm going to e-bike back tomorrow. I had a longtime fan of the channel reach out to me and say, hey, I make e-bikes. I would love to send you one. Check it out, try it, see what your feedback is, see how it handles on your adventures. Would you be willing to do it? And I said, if you send something to Hannah, you know I'm gonna test it out. I've honestly been looking for an e-bike for a while, but I haven't been able to find what I wanted. When I searched e-bikes in Google, this never popped up. I think probably because it's a smaller company, but I'm always excited to try and support a small business, especially when the amount of time and expertise goes into a product like this. Really the question is, is this the ultimate camping adventure bike? I'll let you be the judge. I'll go through a quick rundown of the specs on it, but if you want the full details, you can check out the affiliate link down below and read all the specifications. But really the ultimate question is, how much fun can you get into with this bike? If you've seen my videos, you know that the first test is always the donut test or the burnout test. <laughs> This is the Grizzly, a class two e-bike made by Ariel Riders. This is the first edition, but the brand new one just came out. This is a dual motor bike with a 750 watt motor in the front and back. The new one has 1000 watts in the front and 1000 watts in the back. It has dual lithium ion batteries and adjustable front wheel, rear wheel, or all wheel drive. They're equipped with puncture resistant tires and a 75 mile range on a full charge. Ooh, the suspension is great on this. There's an adjustable rear suspension and a front suspension, which is great for trail riding. I haven't really dialed in and adjusted it to my weight. I've really just been playing around. Little bell. There's a six level pedal assist, which is great because you can put it all the way down to zero. It doesn't help you pedal at all, or you can shift it all the way up to six and shoot to the moon. Unlike many e-bikes, the gears are made of metal instead of nylon for higher torque, speed, and power. Check it out, it has back brake light. The front screen displays your max speed, speedometer, pedal assist, and more. Out of the box, this thing gets 20 miles per hour, but if you take the speed regulator off, I hit 38.1 miles per hour. But I was on a private road on my friend's property. It was nice, smooth asphalt. And it, yeah, 38.1 miles per hour. I cannot recommend doing that for safety. However, if you're going to completely disregard everything I say and you're gonna do it anyways, you're gonna to have to contact the manufacturer for the secret code to get that speed regulator off. But if you remove the speed regulator, it's dangerous. So just don't do it. I wanna test this thing on some hill climbs. I'm just gonna use the rear wheel motor and a little bit of pedaling and see how it does. It comes as a single seater with room for a storage rack for camping or a longer seat for two people since there's a nice set of pegs right on the back. It's got more than enough power. I only used one motor and had no problems at all. I really feel that if you put both on, you would just fly up the hill. And if you're hitting rocks like this, you're just gonna go flying. So too much power is never a bad thing, but I'm just saying you really only need one motor sometimes. I had no problems at all getting up this hill. I just used the throttle a little bit. I had the pedal assist on three and it was cake. Easy peasy. Woo all in all, this e-bike is so much fun and ideal for adventures. Now let's just enjoy the ride and check out these flowers. It's wildflower season in the Sierra. I made it. The bike did great. I went all the way through the forest, so many trails, bumpy rocks, <sighs> anything I put to the test, it passed. And now I'm here at my final destination, the lake where I get to get a nice refreshing dip. Check out this view. Let me turn the camera around. 
After a long hot day, I can't wait to get in the water. probably go for a swim and then head back and set my hammock up because I'm always doing it after dark. Jump in real quick and then come back. to gracefully walk on this because there's so many rocks but have you ever been on a sunset alpine swim there's nothing like it so refreshing there's little pockets of cold water and warm water then you have this golden sunset behind you <sighs> time to get some food and find a camp there's so many bugs out here go away bugs Log off I've had an extra buggy couple of nights the past couple nights. I think there's like an entire swarm of bugs around me right now. Ever since I came back from Mexico, I think I'm like more sensitive to bug bites. A minor allergic reaction. I get these huge welts on my arms and legs and I look like somebody knocked me over the head with a pole or something. I had one right in the middle of my forehead two days ago. I walked around like a cone head. I swear everyone was staring at me and there was this egg sized nodule right on my forehead. I was like, hi, my name is Hannah. I'm not from this world. Nice to meet you. I'm allergic to bugs. But anyways, I've been taking some antihistamines <laughs> during the day <laughs> and it's helped a little bit, but these bugs need to bug off. And on that note, I'm gonna put on some bug spray, put some clothes on, and find a place to camp. <laughs> Good morning, check out this amazing camp spot. I got a great night's sleep in my hammock, except 5 a.m. wake up call, I looked up and Woody the Woodpecker was pecking away and I was like, hey, bite, hey, be quiet, I'm trying to sleep in. No, not a big deal, it was perfectly fine. These woodpecker holes, they're insane, let me show you them. Like, these guys know how to go to town the craziest woodpecker hole I've ever seen in my life. But anyways, on that note, it's beautiful outside today. It's gonna be another hot day, but I'm not that worried about it because I found some shelter in the shade. Probably gonna hang out here for a little while because it's supposed to be beautiful and when I get hot, I'm just gonna walk down to the lake and jump in the water. Later, I'll e-bike back to my truck but for now, I'm just going to enjoy my coffee in the hammock. Coffee is one of my favorite things. I look forward to it every day. It brings so much joy into my life. It sounds silly, but it's such a simple pleasure that we can all indulge in if you like coffee. And lots of people always say, Hannah does nothing. Hannah just trucks. Hannah just trucks around and camps. That's the farthest thing from the truth. I have a small food company that I work very hard on. It doesn't make a whole lot, but it makes enough for me to camp and travel. So if you like this channel, you want to help support it, check out drstraight.com, hit coffee, and try one. Let me know how it is. Tell me in the comments. This hammock makes all the difference. I love hammock camping. I actually did this too much the other day, and I flipped it right over. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm going to stop swinging so much so it's not so distracting. Hold on, hold on. It's really quite a fast cleanup when you use a hammock to camp. 
it's just it's so fast you get it up in two seconds take it down in two seconds it packs away in your backpack i really like hammock camping i think i might like it more than tent camping have you ever hammock camped especially the bug net it really comes in handy under these mosquito infested evenings and it's really great like when i was reading my book last night and i had my light on inside i didn't have to worry about all the bugs dive bombing me for the light i was like ha ha ha, ha i'm safe so now i'm just gonna finish my coffee french press camper mugs they're the greatest finish my coffee walk down the lake enjoy the view thanks for joining my ted talk